They are gone. In Europe, around half a billion just in the last 30 years. Songbirds. Their populations are dramatically declining worldwide. Intensive agriculture, urbanization or climate change? A confluence of threats is forcing them into decline. Biologists from the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior have started a large-scale study with colleagues from the Russian Academy of Sciences. First of all, we would like to observe individual life histories and we want to fill in the, the big important gaps where and why animals die, especially these small songbirds. We don't know that. More than 4,000 bird species constantly migrate across the planet. They connect the most diverse regions and continents with each other. It is a global network of animals, and we humans are part of it. But when habitats change, animals move differently or disappear altogether. And when that happens, we won't just lose birds in our gardens. The consequences of their absence could be incalculable. Birds do not fly alone. They carry seeds, spores of plants and various invertebrates with them. And since migration processes are determined not only by climatic changes, but also human activities, birds can be used to track anthropogenic changes on the planet. It is not yet clear what consequences there will be for ecosystems if songbird populations continue to decline. But history hints at what this could mean. In the 1950s in China, attempts were made to exterminate the sparrows. At the time, people suspected that the grain-eating birds were responsible for reducing rice yields. But the attempt to boost agriculture by controlling sparrows didn't turn out as planned. The sparrows were helping to keep pests in check. Based on this, sparrows were re-imported from Russia and resettled. Although we should know better now, in Europe songbirds are still hunted on a large scale. Spanning continents, the new study follows the individual movements of several thousand blackbirds and thrushes in Europe, Russia and North America with the help of tiny GPS transmitters of the recently developed animal observation system Icarus. Icarus is a global project that will allow us to communicate from small devices on animals about this size to a satellite and back to us. And that really allows us for the first time to transmit vital information from life itself across any place in the world to people, to researchers, to the public, to understand what is happening in the globe. So life is basically reporting what's happening with life itself. Weighing only four grams, the transmitters fly along like tiny rucksacks on the backs of the birds. They send their data to the International Space Station at regular intervals. But there's more. Other sensors within the transmitters collect information about the behaviour and health of the animals as well as data from the environment. In this way, the researchers are not only able to accompany the animals virtually on their migratory routes, they also learn about the animal's state, if they are stressed, what dangers they are facing, where they need protection and how their and our habitats are changing. Globally, we are starting to understand how important it is to get this global intelligence sensing network across all nations to really understand life on the globe. But this is just the beginning. A further 30 scientific projects by Russian and German research groups will follow in the coming months. Hundreds of research groups worldwide are also planning to join studies to decipher the collective knowledge of animals with the help of the new Icarus system on the International Space Station.
The International Space Station was built just for that, allowing scientists from different countries to work together. To tackle the big questions of mankind, it is quite important that we humans work hand in hand. As you look at the Progress 69 cargo craft now, just uh, about five kilometers. By bringing together individual scientific disciplines and nations in times of global conflicts and political upheavals, the German-Russian cooperation in songbird research lays the foundation for a future of global collaboration for conservation.